Howdy everyone, Poltra here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we're jumping into Sands of Doom level 7. The idea of these videos is we're trying to get the best scores possible, showing you the teams to use and how to get the best scores possible. These videos are more aimed towards end game players, but eventually I hope to do videos on how you can use teams to just auto through as much of this as possible, but that's a future goal. So we are moving into level 7, we'll do all the missions in this video. As we get further and further into Cradle of Chaos, we'll try and do videos on separate missions since they become longer and longer and harder and harder. So, yeah, we'll jump into level seven. Our first mission, level one or mission one, we are going to use a hybrid team. We are going to jump into the battle and we are going to be using our druids to begin with. So where are they? We're going for a Rhiannon to begin with and then a Mirrodin. And then we're going to go our friends, Children of the Forest. We want the double combo, the stealthy and the pride. And then we are going to go for our final character, Teodor. Now the idea of this is Teodor's got guaranteed crit for six attacks. His AoE will count for five of those six, so it's guaranteed crit. The stealthy is going to come through with support. And then we have the Rhiannon and the Mirrodin. Now the Rhiannon is there to give support as well. And with the Mirrodin, it's increasing her support chance. So that is the goal. So we'll jump into battle, we'll play it out. And if we fail, we'll come back when we get the recording of the actual kill. So jumping into battle, taking it down to a two times speed. What we're hoping for here is the AOE. Bang, we missed one of the characters, but as you can see, the support comes through, gets all the hits. And what we're looking for here is that kill. We don't get it, unfortunately, so we'll come back when we do get the kill. Jumping into the battle, use Teodor's AoE. Don't get the hit on that Lascari, which I think we do need to hit. We'll see if we can get the kill. We get the kill all the same. I think the best way is going to try and get the hit on her as well. I don't know if possible. I always seem to only hit one of the Lascaris. I don't know if it's just bad RNG on my part. But we got it in the end, and that is all that matters. It's a one-turn kill, and now we can move on to mission number two. Moving into mission number two, and it is two waves, and we are going with a hybrid team again. Our first character is going to be the wonderful Nora with the new Halloween skin. I'll be sporting that, and we're going to go a bomb build. So we're going fire for extra damage. So that is a dragon kin fire. And then we are going the Wombo Combo, Arakan Undead for Blood Mage, Dark Elves for Azariel, and then Kobolds for Soothsayer. Beautiful jump into battle. Now Nora should go first. After we get hit, beautiful, and we're going to go with the AoE here. Let's have a look at the animations, because it is the Fire Nora. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's really cool. And we do not get the kill, so we'll reset, and we'll come back when we are able to do this. Jumping into battle, we're going to use Nora's AoE and get the kill on all the enemies. Moving into the second wave, and we're going to use the bomb from our Soothsayer. We've got the debuffs on the enemy, so hopefully we get the kill here, and we do. Beautiful, giving us a two-turn kill and allowing us to move into the third wave. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go straight into this one. Now, it is a Troran boss, and we are going to get this in one turn using a Chrome. So jumping into battle, nice and straightforward. We're going to use Chrome's third ability, and that should just tear him apart. Nice and easy. One of the easiest bosses in all of Cradle of Chaos, giving us a one-turn kill. And now we can move into the fourth mission. Moving into mission number four, and it is two waves. And we're going a Knight Sooner build. So Knights of the Council. We're going a Tristan lead, a Librarian, and a Sooner. So there's going to be a fair bit of RNG to this, but we'll explain what you need to do and then get back to recording when we get the kill. So jumping into the battle, it's Librarian. He's going to kill the first wave. So first wave, beautiful. We're going to use our... No, sorry, Tristan. Tristan kills the first wave. And then into the second wave and Librarian. So here we go. We're going to use the Librarian AoE. And oh, never mind, there 
is no need for Suna. I mean, if your characters aren't as strong, then Suna will be a good choice as there is a high chance for crit off these two characters and Suna will come through with a 50% chance to support attack with the crit. So remember with that, there's a fair bit of RNG. So buckle in, you could be in there for a long time, but could get it fairly quickly also. So with that, we'll move on to the final mission, mission number five, and that will clear up this level. Moving into the final mission, it is two waves again. We are going for an AOA team with a Beastman Valar leader. Our follow-up character is going to be Morrigan and Flame. And it should be a two-turn kill. So we'll show you what you need to do. And if we don't get it, we'll come back and we get the kill. So jumping into battle, your Morrigan is going to go first. So we're going to go ahead and use the AOE here and get the kill. And now this is what we're going to have to try and surpass is getting the kill with the Dagan not activating his proc on the invincibility. So we'll come back when we get the kill. So jumping into battle, we're going to use the basic of Morrigan and not the ultimate and hope for good RNG. So we're going to boost this up to four times speed. And there we go. That's the RNG. So it's your basic you want to use, not the ultimate. And then we use Flames AoE and get the kill, giving us a two turn point or two point turn and uh, giving us a completion of level seven to nine, nine, uh, three, nine, nine, two. Fairly good score. Going to be hard to beat that. I don't think you can beat it, but... Who knows, people have come up with unique ways of getting better points in the past. But there we go. There is level 7 complete. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.